This is Rocky Marciano. When I held the heavyweight title, they called me the Bronson Blockbuster. You'll find out why. And the quality of fighters during Rocky Marciano's reign were terrible, would be a nice way of saying it. Jimmy Cannon once said he stands out, meaning Marciano, like a rose in a garbage dump. There was nobody there. With these words, Bert Randolph Sugar, that doyen of boxing history, former editor of The Ring, commentator, host, author, condemned Marciano. His use of the quote from the mythical journalist Jimmy Cannon, whose words have been carved in stone on the tombs of champions, has reverberated down the years as the greatest criticism, appropriated by those who would use it as ammunition for their mistaken belief that Rocky only achieved because of the underwhelming state of the division in his time. However, This highly regarded encyclopedia of boxing knowledge was wrong. Wrong on so many levels, but the biggest and least excusable wrong was his use of the quote, for it was out of context, massively so. Cannon did not use the words to denigrate the division in which Rocky pounded his way to the crown. No, he penned it to highlight how the champion had risen above the hoodlum-infested state of professional boxing as a whole during his tenure as heavyweight king. Rocky Marciano, wrote Cannon, stood out in boxing like a rose in a garbage dump. Boxing is the swill barrel of sports. It's a dirty racket in many instances, and that's the way it's going to be. As long as a hoodlum figures he can make a buck by muscling into it. The big prizes of the prize ring are poverty, insanity, deformity, and sometimes death. Sugar would wax lyrical about Rocky through his later years, but often with the caveat that his era was weak. It seems even the cigar-chumping, fedora-adorned caricature of 50s archetype scribes failed to understand that when a true great rises to the top, Everyone else looks average. I leave you in the hands of sugar once again, but for one final thought. Across all disciplines, evidence not checked is merely opinion, and opinion taken as truth is destructive. He was a future great waiting to be great, and we all knew it. Coming off knockout after knockout after knockout after knockout, even before Mike Tyson looked like he owned the copyright, the original owner of the copyright was Rocky Marciano. Just say the name Rocky Marciano. It resonates strength. There's a name. Rocky Marciano, this is not going to be a piano player. This is a boxer, pure and simple. And it's even more than a boxer, Rocky. That's not a dilettante. That's a puncher. When the chips are down.